In the last part, we had a major house renovation, which I'm very pleased with, but I've also asked you guys if you ah. think we should move house. So our twins aged up, Persephone aged up with a tiara. Mm -hmm. I've kind of gone for maybe a little bit of a princess feel in some of the outfits. And then I have kept Rose's shorter hair. This is a new hair that came with growing together, which I really like. And it's actually the same as their dad's hair. So then I was like, well, Kyle can have a haircut. <gasps> so their hair is a little bit different, but it's nice they inherited the hairstyle. So they've got more of a sporty look, some really cute new items as well from this pack that I've dressed them in. And then Yasmin here's has had a little bit of an update to a few outfits as well. One of my personal favorites is this outfit showing off the baby bob. We are also pregnant with baby number four. This era always comes up. I don't know why. Remember when this house was like small and a starter home and now look at it. It's really expanded a lot. Look at the twins grown up here. They're hanging out with Freddy on the swings. Do you wanna be pushed on swing by granddad Freddy? And then over here, we've got Kyle working on the new tree house, which I'm super excited about. We don't have a lot of room on this lot, so we're squeezing it in. But this is just so wholesome. I love watching them just hanging out, being kids. And we've got baby number three on the way, hopefully baby number three and not three, four or three, four, five. This is the back of the house just to refresh you guys. Now these plants are sheltered and these two technically are not, but they're now in season. So our begonias can still grow anyway. We've got this on the side of the house and this on the front of the house. We also have so many things for the kids to do. They want to go to a slumber party. They want to play in the tree house, obviously. They've got their first day of school, but I thought it'd be really cute if they start learning how to ride their bikes. Tina Tinker is here to fix a few things. Um, okay. Rose can answer the door. And then Rose, I think, I mean, why do we have to ask Yasmin for help with bike riding? Is that because Yasmin, I don't understand. Why can't we ask Freddy? Oh well, Yasmin, can you get up and get something to eat? And then we'll ask Yasmin to help with bike riding. Uh, how is Kyle going? He's getting tired. Keep going, Kyle, you can do it. I also gave Yasmin some new pajamas because she was always walking around in her underwear. Okay, we're gonna learn how to ride a bike, everybody. Oh my gosh, Rose, you are growing up. I love the helmet. I love this animation. Super cool. Oh my gosh, mono monoing up the stairs, okay. And once we're on the bike, can we actually like use the horn or anything? I'm, I'm assuming not. I mean, we can name the bike. We'll set it as our preferred bike. Woohoo! And that's actually the next milestone we are working on, learning how to ride a bike. I think it'd be nice if Persephone also learns how to ride a bike, so we'll set that as the preferred. Ask for help from Freddy. Okay, now that's available. Jasmine's like, yes, you're doing so good. I think we've got, we've got a foot. We've got one foot on the bike, everyone. Just the one foot. That looks very awkward. <laughs> I'm kind of starting to think the leg is stuck and that's not what's meant to be happening. I'll see you, Tina. Oh, Didi's come over. Okay, I don't think Freddy's inviting us to ride the bike, sadly. Maybe we can ask Didi to help us instead. Well, that was a really good um, effort, Rose, and you are absolutely exhausted. Okay, now Didi's helping Persephone ride. Persephone's got a slightly different helmet on by the looks of things. I'm not sure if the helmets go with the bike or if it's just randomized. Woohoo! Oh, all the grandparents are coming over. Invite in. Actually, I have no idea what trimester we're in. Okay, we're in second trimester. Well, I mean, if the family's coming over, why don't we do like a family dinner or something? I mean, can we order takeaway? I always get nervous to order takeaway. I'm just gonna save this because my game has crashed ordering pizza before. So we can give it a go. Order a delivery. Let's get Zuma's food delivery. Actually, no, let's go with just pizza. Let's get a pepperoni pizza for everybody to enjoy. There's something about a round dining table I really like. Okay, we're getting pizza for everyone. Oh, wow, look at the progress on the tree house. Yes, whoa, that is huge. And you know what? We can actually end up putting items on top of it. So wait, is this done? 
Oh my gosh, enclosure. We can woohoo in it. We can sleep in it. Treehouse entry and exit. Okay, so we can climb up and down it. Watch nature. Upgrade it. Okay, I think Papa's gonna need a sleep before we upgrade it. And it looks like we need level five handiness to add lights to this as well. I mean, you know what? Why don't you sleep in there? Oh, we are doing so well over here. I love the girls learning how to ride a bike. All right, let's take the pizza and everybody grab a piece. Everyone's like helping themselves to other random foods. They just couldn't wait for the pizza. Yay, we get to christen our new um, dining table. Super exciting. $25, it's pretty expensive pizza, isn't it? Oh my gosh, okay, we are passing out, I think. And we're jealous? Why are you being jealous? Wait, Yasmin? Wait, Freddy? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, what just happened? <gasps> Yasmin and Freddy flirted. This is not, this is not okay. This is not what I wanted. I feel so uncomfortable with this. And no wonder Kyle is upset and jealous. That's so weird. Oh, he wanted to order pizza, dang it. I don't know, I, this is inappropriate. Are we gonna have to say we just wanna be friends? I do not wanna deal with, first kiss! I don't want to deal with this. What is wrong with my Sims? Oh my God, and look at this. He's really hit the low point. This poor guy spent all day working on the tree house and then his baby mama and dad had an awkward flirtatious encounter. Is everyone leaving? I feel like now would be a good time for you guys to leave. I have a crush on Fatima. Um, yeah, you know what? Go for it. I There's bigger things in my life right now to focus on. Okay, we need to make it very, very clear with um Freddy that there is no romance here. We're gonna make it very, very, very clear that we are just friends, nothing more. And we're gonna put this down to a very poor, uncomfortable miscommunication. I'm sorry about before. I think it's best that you leave now. They decided to cool off their, their romantic relationship. There was no romantic relationship. Can we, can we just end, can we end this little stay? Yeah, let's end the stay over goodbye. Oh gosh, that was awkward. Grab your suitcase and see you later, okay? You forgot your suitcase, Freddy. I've tossed it out the front. Lord. All right, let's put Persephone to bed because tomorrow is their first day of school. Oh. Super duper exciting. And hopefully we can meet a friend and maybe, maybe organize a sleepover or something. And we can also take family leave now. Not that we've been working all that much. Already has time off. So you never actually have to call up for family, family leave. It's always just automatic these days. Ah, well, that is great. Everyone's in bed at 10 p.m. Oh no, you're awake because you're about to pee yourself. Let's quickly go to the toilet. Good one. And then you can go back to bed. Can't wait for the maid to come and clean the bathtub. Oh, now Yasmin needs to go to the toilet. Okay. It is 6 a.m. and Rose is so excited to start school. They are up, out of bed, feeling playful. And they've also got these comforting lights so they won't get any monsters under the bed. And I've just realized I totally forgot about a kitchen bin because I could not clean up anything. Okay, you're gonna have some food. Then what else do you need? You need a bit of social that we can socialize at school. I mean, we could also do our first little bit of homework. And it looks like Persephone is also very excited for their first day of school. So make sure to get some pancakes. Uh, maybe mom can get up, go to the toilet, have some food, so can dad. I mean, it's a big day, so I want this family to all be together for this big moment. All right, you two, we gotta get we gotta get ready for um school. And also, I do have outfits for them that I want them to wear because it's the outfits with the little backpacks. So it looks like they got their backpack on for their school day. Wait, where's your backpack outfit? Oh, there it is. Hey, wait, no, 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 that's not the outfit. That is not the outfit. No, oh, we can't put your little backpack on. Well, at least Rose has their backpack ready for school. I'm so excited. It's their first day of school. Oh no, and their confidence just went down. Why? Why? I do love how Freddy's bag is still out there in the rain. We got him out as quickly as we could. Okay, well, I do think the most important thing is for the girls to actually make some friends. 
we can always study at home, you know, to help with that. And I don't want this suitcase, Kyle, you can take that. It's also great now the parents have, I mean, now the kids have gone to school, not the parents. We can work on a few things for them too, such as work. We need to read a gardening skill book. And I am amazed that our performance is still in the green. Oh, we need to ship this on Plopsy as well. Okay, let's order a book. We need a gardening skill book. I think we're up to level three now. Shipping that off to Plopsy. And then we want to read our level three book. Oh, this is very nice, Kyle. What a king. He's like, I want your first day back at work to be beautiful, even though we're technically on family leave. Oh, Persephone has met Lillian. Where are you going, Kyle? You're going to go up here to watch nature? I mean, I think it, you should enjoy your hard work on this. What did we just get $543 for? I thought that painting was selling for like 2000 Rose has met Cindy. Yes, meeting friends. I mean, we can always do some upgrades, like, you know, do the pole, do the bell. I mean, we want to do everything, don't we? Oh, yes. We have some cleaning help. This is what I've been waiting for for days. Thank you so much, you are. How long do these upgrades take, actually? Oh, they're gonna take a while. Okay, we might only get one at a time. Rose has met Jamie, or Jamie. And we have read our gardening skill book. Mail has been delivered. It never stops, you guys. Pay bills. We met Azias as well. Also, this maid looks like they're doing a good job. Like they are cleaning everything. Sometimes they don't do what you want them to do. Rose met Tala. We are making so many friends. We're gonna have the biggest slumber party ever. Yay. All right, let's list on Plopsy. And the reason why we list everything on Plopsy is because you make more money that way. It's just another way of not having to do all of the uh, street sales. I just find it a bit easier to be honest. We're feeling a little stuffed up. It's not great to be sick whilst pregnant, is it? Maybe we should brew a pot of healthy green tea so we can get on top of this illness that has now caused hives or a rash. Yeah, grab some of that. Yeah, I'm still working hard on this. And wow, all of his needs went down super quick. So let's not continue upgrading. Oh, and he's working in the rain. Poor guy. This pole better be worth it. Oh, we met Ashton while at school. I don't think my Sims have ever met so many Sims at school. All right, so they are back at school. I mean, back at home, they just went to school. They've got school projects and they are in amazing moods. Do you girls wanna um talk about school together? Like, <gasps> and become best friends forever? How was your first day of school? Mine was awesome. Okay, let's go inside because it's raining. Now the good news is because we have so much room in this lounge room. Oh, they're becoming best friends. Oh, look at that. That's, that's nice. Oh, we have some pictures from school too. too. Pictures from school to put up. I love that they have pictures from school. Then we have our school projects we can put out here they can work on that together ew why did why are you carrying this in your pocket also i have these random red begonias we should probably list those on plopsy too oh actually how much are these sell for 14 dollars. yeah that's probably better i'm still amazed that we do not have a tv in this household and everyone's really, you know, you don't need a TV, it seems. I think everyone should help with this project. The sillier, the better. Would you say Rose like silly behavior? Sure. Look at them all. Can you say wholesome? Especially wholesome with the pregnant belly as well. Now Rose wants to achieve level three in the creativity skill and play pretend in the treehouse. So now that you've been doing a little bit of um, project work. Oh, look at that. Everyone created this volcano. Claps. Well done, everyone. Let's maybe put this on display, the coffee table. And let's have some fun. Do you want to go play pretend? fairy castle with Persephone. How cool is this? And look, there is a pole out the back that was added. Super cool. Imagine having a tree house this big. Rose finished the school project quickly. Extra credit has been given and I'm not sure why Persephone didn't get any, I guess, because it wasn't Persephone's project. Oh, I love these pictures. Oh, look at them playing. That is really, Really, really sweet. How cute is this? And their fun should be going up. Oh, fun's going up quite slowly, actually. I thought it may go up more quickly. 
Are you wanting to join in, Kyle Kyleson? Oh, let's go down the, um, the pole. Let's see. Will this actually be animated? I mean, I assume so. Here we go! That was sick! Loved that. Now, you can also decorate the treehouse, but I'm like, how do we... How do we decorate it? Do we have to fully upgrade it first? You know, Monty, you can come inside. Look, I'm just gonna give Monty some keys. Play pretend in treehouse. How come that didn't get ticked off my list? Maybe we've just got to play pretend by ourselves. Like I said in the last part, you won't see any visuals of the imagination unless you've got the kids selected which I have to say, I really love that. So their creativity is going up from playing pretend. I'm just gonna speed through this. Oh, Yasmin's already gone into labor. Oh my gosh. Okay, that did tick play pretend off the list. Mama's gotta go to hospital. I'm glad Monty is here to look after the kids. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Monty. Wait, where's my option to actually have the baby? Uh, hello? Oh, have baby at hospital. Should we just send her alone? No, we should go to the hospital. That's horrible to, to send her alone. All right, I do think it's nice if Kyle comes with us. Oh, we just got the uh, large painting on Plopsy, good. Okay, we've done this before, haven't we? Oh wait, I forgot I have to check in. It's like I've never done this before. Check in at front desk. Miss, are you the receptionist or the surgeon? It's concerning to me if the surgeons are also the receptionist. Does this hospital have enough budget to be safe? Now, let me see here. Yes, now I think I was going to deliver your baby next. Oh God, we're, we also have a fever. Oh no, it's okay. We do have a different doctor. Oh, it's Dr. Ramesh. He delivered the twins. Okay, now I do want to make it very clear. I do not want twins or triplets. I want one baby so we don't have to be stressed again. And we do not have any of the fertility traits or lot traits, there should be no twins or triplets. We've already had the good luck of them the first time. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kyle is, Kyle, Kyle, this is not a time to be napping. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, it's a girl. We had another girl. Wait, I didn't even think of names. Oh no, I'm gonna go back to the first time I asked you guys for names. Someone said Clover in the comments last time. Oh no, they said Clove, but I think Clover's kind of cute. I like the name and also it's within in that garden theme and Yasmin is a florist. So let's do Clover. Taylor Kyleson. Please don't be a twin. Oh gosh, I was about to pass out if there was a twin. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. Yay! We have a little baby Clover. It's a little Benjamin Button baby. Oh, nice. We have another addition to the family. That's beautiful, you guys. Well, let's take little Clover home. Three little girls. Can you believe it? Kyle Kyleson is going to be surrounded by little girls. So cute. So this happened at 11 o'clock at night. Where's the baby being put? Persephone's parting down. Oh, I'm glad Monty is still here. Oh, they've put the baby in the uh, main room. And I forgot to get out our special bassinet. Wait, where is our bassinet? Did I accidentally sell it? No. Oh no, we had the original bassinet. I guess I sold it. So we have the base game one. I don't think, I don't think we can change it, sadly. And we can do a hand-me-down of the little clothes. Oh, hold on. We've got all of these other outfits. Also, what is this? Because it doesn't look like a onesie. Is it a nappy maybe? Oh, it's a short onesie. Wait, let's do a different outfit. I like the panda and it's green like a clover. Oh, so cute. Cuddle. Kiss clover's forehead. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Kyle's now a pro. Oh. I mean, the girls should um, come up and meet meet their baby sister. He's feeling very focused on this baby too. Persephone's like, look at you, you little fox. <laughs> you blow a kiss? Oh, that's cute. Do you wanna 
come here and meet your sibling. Also, it is 12 o'clock at night. Like, I know having a baby is gonna be a bit disruptive, okay? I'm really glad Monty's here, by the way, to help out with the baby. That's really nice. Oh, and we haven't had a baby shower. The first babies we had, we could have a baby shower. But now with, with so many kids, we don't have that luxury anymore. Also, I would really like it if Yasmin can read one of them to sleep. Let's read this book to Persephone and Rose. Just so they know that just because we have a new baby, it's not like they're being forgotten. Oh no, Persephone's in a really angry mood. Unwanted sibling. Persephone just met a sibling she doesn't want at all. Persephone. Okay. Yay, Yasmin has completed caregiver of the big happy family, aspiration. The next level, she wants a child to get married, so it's gonna be a long time before we get to that. All right, you gotta go get to sleep. Monty's going home now. The baby is sleeping. Kyle is sleeping. Everybody is sleeping. Let's put auto lights on, save a bit of money. And then tomorrow is a new day with a new little baby. Wait, Yasmin, where are you going? Yasmin, it's not time to be painting. It's time to be eating. It's time to be sleeping. We will resume in the morning. Oh, okay. It's dawn and Yasmin's going to go sleep in the tree house in her gown from the hospital from the night before and giving birth. Okay. I mean, if that's really what you want, that's fine. <laughs> a little strange. I totally forgot we had a baby for a second. Okie dokie, the kids are off to school. Um, I mean, we've made a lot of friends, so maybe we just, you know, do the usual schoolwork today. Don't want to stress them out too much. Yasmin's getting good rest up in here. Although she's feeling very angry from unfulfilled dreams. Quickly, quickly. Woohoo with Kyle. Oh no, Yasmin's too angry to woohoo. Hmm. You want to have another child you just had a baby oh no we can woohoo now quickly quickly i'm sorry that you're gonna be woohooing whilst the baby is here but oh my gosh i just realized all these diapers congratulations on the new addition to the family thank you love letter persephone is grabbing her lunch from her backpack when she notices something red inside it's a nerd shaped like a heart with the words you are cute she thinks it might be the new boy who always seems to stare. Does she ask him? I would wait and see. Sure enough, at lunch, some friends laugh and wave to her. Hey, cutie one taunts. Taunts. She wads up the nerd and tosses it at them, laughing along with the jerk. Someday it'll happen for real, but she's relieved it's not today. Phew, that could have been... Could have been awkward, you know. When Rose gets to class, she realizes her timeline is due. Does she try to copy a classmate or confess the truth? Well... Rose is a more adventurous sim, and Rose is also a bit silly, so I feel like we'll copy a classmates. Oh, we got away with it too. Winning. Gonna put this on the wall. Don't wanna watch that. Oh, also we did get all of these toys in the mail as well from the girls' birthdays, so we can pop a couple of those out. Sell our begonias and our rose. Are we listening to holiday music? It is not the time of year for that. Well, actually it's summer and I do have Christmas and summer because I'm from Australia. Okay, we're feeling better, I think. You want to complete a work task. Well, we can level up in flower arranging, so why don't we do that? Let's do a pink begonia. Why do you keep wearing your scrubs? It's like she wants to remain with the delivery memory from the hospital. Monty, I'm not in the mood for geek con right now. I I'm busy. Kyle really wants to discipline the kids, but they're not doing anything wrong to discipline. Maybe we can add a slide. A slide would be pretty cool. This is what Kyle does with his life. He upgrades the treehouse. Oh, I forgot we had a baby again. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's sell that. Let's sell all of these begonias. Also, you can store whatever you make inside of this table too, which is just a handy hint. Let's do another arrangement. Oh, we're not feeling good. Oh, we're hungry. Yay, the girls are back from school. Hi, Grandma Dee Dee. Let's tell a joke about nacho cheese. <gasps> oh my gosh, I thought Dee Dee said no to, to hugging them. Oh my gosh. 
which I was going to say, that's terrible. New family dynamic supportive. Would you say Dolores and Rose have a supportive family dynamic? Yes. That'll be very good for Rose's confidence. Let's get Rose to work on holiday crafts to level up their creative genius aspiration. I do want to work on learning how to ride the bike a little bit more. Oh, we've got two of the same picture. How fabulous. Another school project. I love how the parents are using the treehouse more than the kids just to sleep. <laughs> They're like, I just, I just need a moment <laughs> hiding in the tree house. I've read comments from you guys saying you hide from your kids in the bathroom sometimes. It is really cute. Dee Dee's helping with the homework. Stephanie's homework is complete. Well, why don't we go do some bike riding now? Do you want your dad to teach you how to ride a bike? Oh, and she's off. Nice. It's like Dee Dee just came to help with the homework. That's a beautiful picture, Rose. Okay, now we want to achieve level three mental skill and go stargazing. Witness to a bully. Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help. I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? Step in and stand up for your friend. Or stay out of it and console your friend afterwards. Here we go. You're welcome. Can we? I want to do bike riding. Teach Persephone how to ride a bike. Yes, level six of parenting. I feel like this isn't really working very well. Like, I know we're tired, but can we just do a little bit of bike riding, you guys. What happens if we go outside? Teach to ride a bike. Is this the trick? Do you want to ride a bike? I can teach you. You want a dog? You want to get a dog? Yay! Learning how to ride a bike. Conflict resolution goes up. Okay. Riding a bike will solve all of your problems. Oh, different helmet this time. We got a we got a pink helmet. Right, Persephone does not look that excited about this. Persephone just wants to have a sleepover with all of her new friends. With Rico and Lillian and Maribel and Jayla. Well, we do actually have a few friends. Mentor a child's homework. We can do that right now. Praise effort in creativity growth. Now, I believe that could help confidence because we're like supporting them. We can also help with homework. I wonder how long it takes to learn how to ride a bike. Okay, Rose just finished their homework. You already asked your dad this. So I'm going to say stand up for your friend. So you get two different opinions. We still haven't learned how to ride a bike yet, but maybe we're a little bit closer to it. The girls are so tired. So nine o'clock bedtime for you guys. I just love how she's always walking around in her gown. Oh dear, baby is crying. Don't worry. Kyle is here to help. It's okay, little one. It's okay. Well, Kyle had a eureka moment. Being a genius, this gave them a boost to one of their more practical skills. Which skill did you get a boost in? Parenting was already six. Hmm. I think handiness was already five. Maybe gardening? Oh my God, she wants to go sleep in the tree house again. I love how it's a sleep in the enclosure, like it's a cage. I mean, it's not a bad idea because she's not being woken up by the baby. Kyle is. That is a stinky diaper. Do you reckon we could have a sleepover on a school night or is that kind of inappropriate? Maybe one of the kids, like their parents have to have them sleep over, you know? How are you still crying? What is wrong? What is wrong? I feel like I've done everything to help you. What is wrong, little Clover? My little... My little Benjamin Clover. <laughs> You're still hungry. Okay. Well, then you will get a feed. It is feeding time for you. Ah. Oh, he wants to have a drink at the bar. Ooh, we sold our painting. I don't know why I said it like that. Ooh, for $1,000. We're really making it a living from Plopsy. <laughs> More so than anything else. Good morning, Cherub. These two have done their homework, so we are going to school. All organized. The only thing we don't have is I never remember to cook school lunches, which I know in America, not everyone has sack lunches, but usually in Australia, well, at least when I was at school, everyone packed their lunch and it was more, it was less likely that you would buy lunch at school because we don't have cafeterias. Okay, I think the kids are already off to school. Okay. Well, maybe we can give them a sack lunch tomorrow. I'd actually really like an option here instead of make friends to just get to know our friends more. Which I don't think that does, but we'll try it anyway. We found an unsent love letter from Persephone to her teacher in her desk today. Nothing racy, but we thought you should know. She's in big trouble. Cute but inappropriate, we will talk. Oh dear. Oh dear. Did that count towards disciplining? No, it did not. Meanwhile, we're making money down here from all of our flowers. Feeling very inspired as well. That is a beautiful painting. Let's put it on Plopsy. Gorgeous. Yeah, mama now needs a nap. I hope the girls invite a friend from school. Persephone has now met Olive. 
Rose has met Alana. We're making so many friends, but who should we invite over for a sleepover? Well, Persephone wants a sleepover, so, or the slumber party. Who should we invite? Who is like a good friend at school? Well, Maribel and Jayla seem to be our best friends at this point. Let's do a sleepover on a school night. What? Three nights? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I'm doing the wrong thing. I am doing the wrong thing. That's some crazy sleepover. Wait, can the kids even throw an event? We can do a stayover, but a stayover is not a slumber party. And if we go here, we can't add an event. Only a teen or older sim can schedule. So does that mean the parents are going to have to know the kids? to plan the sleepover. Okay, slumber party. Silver reward includes an adorable new sleep sleeping bag and gold rewards include one for everyone else. Gather your pals together, stay up late, tell stories and eat snacks. Don't fall asleep first or you may get pranked. Okay, so can we set Persephone as the host and then they can invite their friends? Oh, okay, but it doesn't show Persephone's relationship with Maribel. This must be Yasmin's. So it is a bit confusing. Can we just invite all the kids? It's just so inappropriate on a school night, but let's go everyone. <laughs> we're gonna hire a venue for our, our slumber party. No, we're not really. Um, You know what, 4 p.m. works. I guess we're gonna need to get some sleeping bags out. <gasps> Oh my gosh, and we can have the sleepover in the cubby house. Do we have to lay out sleepover back? Oh, treehouse slide. Oh my gosh, we can add the slide. Oh, wow. Okay, so we add the slide ourselves. I accidentally built two of these slides and I can't even sell it. That is a bummer. I can't believe I built two of those. So sleepover, slumber party, sleeping bag, supports toddlers. Is this a... Is this one okay for kids? Or is this too big for kids? This is like Dee Dee's one. Oh, okay, so kids and adults and teens and elders can share the same one. Okay, well, let's maybe pop this one. Oh, it doesn't fit up here. Oh, I thought we could put it in the tree house. Why can't we put anything on the tree house? Well, maybe we could like set up a slumber tent. Oh, here it is, the ultimate fantasy blanket fort. How much is this? 500 simoleons. Okay, that that's really cool. So we can like slumber under this and like put down this lawn blanket and we can put the sleeping bags in here. This little moon out here. That's really cute. Okay, and then we've got to make some, some snacks. So maybe we can all cook something. Oh, we can just order a delivery. Let's get pizza deliveries. We love pizza in this house. Let's start the slumber lumber party so they've got to get some sleep chat play games and eat all right hey welcome everybody cheerful introduction hi mom is in her slumber party outfit too oh god this is not safe for the children Kyle, can you please repair this hi everybody invite to play dolls hi <laughs> School night sleepover. I feel like the school would call us and be like, we've noticed you've been hosting big sleepovers on school nights and the kids are rocking up really tired. <laughs> okay, once we have this fixed, we can now dance. Turn on to kids radio. Yes, let's all dance. Okay, where's my pizza? Oh, here it is. Also, is the baby okay? Oh yeah, the baby's just sleeping. Oh my gosh, there are so many kids here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven kids. Good lord. All right, kids, come get some pizza. Help yourself, everyone. <laughs> There's just so many kids here. We should have got like a popcorn machine or an ice cream machine. Okay, everybody, it's time for us to tell a story in the sleepover tent, all right? Whilst mom is gonna bake um some brownies for everyone. All right, everyone, once upon a time, there was a princess. Her name was Persephone. She just happened to have the same name as me, which basically means I'm a princess. Look at the crowds. Oh, they love it. They're loving the story. Okay, what else? We need to carry out a sleeping bag prank. Well, when are they all gonna go to sleep? That's what I wanna know. Set admission, kids only. <laughs> Teen only. Oh, we can set decorations. Oh, I see. So 
The adults can't set decorations, but the kids can. Well, maybe let's do a pirate hideout. Yeah, there we go. This looks way better now. All right, let's play pirates with all of our, oh, we can only pick one. I was gonna say with all of our friends. Oh yeah, help yourself to brownies and pizza, everyone. Mama's getting down with the kids over here. <laughs> oh my God, you have got to get out of this robe, <laughs> girl. I'm sorry, I'm banning the rope. Here, you can put on something fun. Put on your green crop, that's nice. Well, does that mean kids can, can we put stuff up here? Maybe you can put things from a kid's inventory upstairs. You still can't put anything up there. Ah, my hearties. I love how the kids are playing together, but not with any of their other friends. No adults allowed. Set admission room, kids. R rules, kids only. That's right, mama, you st stay down there. This house is chaos right now. Baby is surprisingly happy, but they're stinky. So let's change the table. Wonder if it's stressful for parents hosting sleepovers. Hey, that's not okay. Can we discipline you? Stop doing that. Hey everyone, it's time to go to sleep. I'm not sure if you guys needed us to give you sleeping bags, but we've got ours out here and you're welcome to join us. Actually, you know what? Rose really likes pranks. So let's do a prank on their sister. <laughs> with a balloon, with water, or baby powder. Let's do a baby powder trick. Oh, you can't, you can't. Dang it, we have to move this. What about now? <laughs> what? Okay, I'm gonna put this in the inventory and see if it works this time. <gasps> Cancel. Okay, surely this time. <laughs> Got him. Uh oh, we in trouble now? Yeah, Rose loves mischief. Oh, Persephone's not happy. Oh, Clover aged up? I just saw then. <laughs> what kind of infant is Clover gonna be? Oh, a sensitive infant. When they're soothed, they will rest peacefully through the night. Look, a little clove. Oh, welcome to the family. Why are you angry? Oh, unfulfilled dreams yet again. Hello, hello little clove. What is happening with the other kids? They're just, oh, the kids aren't sleeping. Guys, it's 11 p.m. You've got to hop into your sleeping bags. Will they get all their sleeping bags out or? Don't worry, mama's gonna change your diaper. Hey, my girls were asleep, but the rest of the kids are crazy. At least they're having fun. Oh no, free air tinkler. It's okay, little one. You can tinkle in the air all you want. We're gonna need to put the mobile back on this bed again. Oh my gosh, Clover, you have brown hair like mama. Maybe Clover will look more like Yasmin because the twins really don't look like Yasmin and will soothe you, of course. Okay, let's do a, du a double soothe and a kiss goodnight. That should do the trick. Yeah, sleeping with your eyes open. That's creepy. Oh, I think they slept for like two seconds. Guys, I don't think these kids are going to sleep. It's like 1 a.m. and they're still partying. So do the slumber party kids never sleep? I mean, there are beds if the kids want to use them. Oh, this kid's taking out the trash. Lillian. Lillian Volkov. Oh, are you a werewolf? What a child. I mean, they're just sitting here eating brownies and chili con carne and dancing. Okay, what if I turn off the music and I turn off all the lights, okay? All right, everyone. Lights out time, bedtime. No one's going to sleep. If I put out a sleep bag, will somebody use it? I'm just gonna put one out here and see if a child's gonna utilize, you know, the free sleeping bag. Can we encourage someone to go here? <laughs> I'll put it inside so it's like really convenient. Well, it's like 4.30 in the morning and the kids aren't sleeping. So I feel like they don't sleep. They're just crazy. Everyone's kids are crazy. Oh, we love being held. Oh dear. As long as they don't have to be held, I'm okay. Yay, slumber party gold. I feel like the kids should sleep in sleeping bags and that would be way cuter if they did. So let's see what we got. Okay, so we got the sleepy critter bag, yay. This is way cute. And then we also got the whimsical dream. So this is a bigger one. So a kid's one and an adult's one. They're really cool sleeping bags. Definitely happy with that. 
Bye kids, have a good day at school being exhausted. Kids are crazy these days. Y'all crazy. I feel like I'm so much more confident with infants now. Oh no, picky eater. Well anyway you guys, I'm gonna leave this part right here. I hope you enjoyed it. I've been filming for an hour and a half, so this was definitely a longer part. Let me know if you'd like us to move house. And thank you guys for watching this video, all of your comments and your love. And also a big thank you to my members for always supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. And as always, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look very forward to speaking to you all soon. Let me know what you'd like to happen next in this Let's Play. Um, what do you want Clover to be like? Do you want to pick a trait as a toddler or just see how they turn out? Let me know. Should we move house? Do you have any other ideas? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much to my amazing members. Thank you for your support. As always, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye,